Aloha, my name is Jody Kamisato, the owner of Ukulele Hale, and I'm very honored and humbled to be a part of the Kanilea Artist Spotlight. I brought along my best friend right here. This ukulele is very special to me. It is a K1 tenor natural. And this actually was gifted by the Kanilea Ohana um, for the 20th anniversary of Kanilea Ukulele. And so I have to say, um, being a part of the Kanilea Ukulele Ohana is just really an honor. Um, I can't thank Joe, Kristen, and the entire Kanilea team for their support, for giving me this opportunity to share this beautiful ukulele with the world. And just a little bit about this ukulele. Um, it's all koa wood from the Big Island. And it has this right here, Ola Ka'aina. It's the 20th Kanilea ukulele anniversary. And it's just a special gift that was gifted again by the Kanilea Ohana. And the reason why it's one of my favorite ukuleles is because it just has this really warm, full sound. And so I love teaching with this ukulele. I love playing it outdoors, indoors, basically anywhere. And uh, the feel, I mean, you could just feel the vibration and, and the warmth of it. My students love it. So this is my go-to Kanilea Tenor Natural Ukulele. So the song I want to play for you guys, it's uh, very special. It's almost nostalgic. If you grew up in Hawaii, you are probably familiar with the Manapua man. I grew up on the east side, and there was a man named Mr. Lu. And Mr. Lu was this older Chinese man, and he would drive his white van, and he would park it at the bottom of our school. And so once the school bell rang, my friends and I would book it down to Mr. Lu. And at that time, we didn't have any money, so we'd be like, Mr. Lu, can we have some free candy? And he'd be like, ah take out his junk stash of candy and just throw it out the window. My friends and I, it was like a Christmas parade where Santa's throwing out candy. We would just literally pick up loads of candy, stuff it in our pocket, go home. And then, uh, you know, Mr. Lu, he, he sold so many great, geez, Ono kind grinds. I mean, it was anything from spat musubi to my favorite fried noodles. We would put plenty of pepper and shoyu on top. And then one day my friend was like, Jody, I wouldn't eat the manapua if I was you. And I said, why? He's all, did you know Mr. Lu kills all the cats and puts it in the manapua? And I was heartbroken. So for, for over 10 years, I didn't eat manapua. And I came up with this song. And disclaimer, I love cats, I love pets. This is just an old tale in Hawaii. Here we go. Back in the day, there was a man Planting pineapple on Kalihi land from morning to evening. He kills all the cats and puts it in the manapua and makes us fat. Mr. Lu comes in his van, stops by the he comes and he goes whenever he please says hello in Hawaiian Chinese now that he's gone, I finally see all the cats are back 
in the street Mr. Lou comes in his van stops by the bus stop and sells his spam 